before answering these questions we need to say a few more words about famine plague and war the claim that we are bringing them under control may strike many outrageous extremely naive world perhaps callous what about the billions of people scraping a living on less than two dollar a day what about the ongoing AIDS crisis in Africa or the wars raging in Syria and Iraq to address these concerns? Let us take a closer look at the world of the early 21st century. Before exploring the human agenda for the coming decades in the biological poverty line, let's start with famine. For thousands of years, has been humanity's worst enemy until recent most humans lived on the very edge of the biological poverty line before which people succumbed to malnutrition and hunger a small mistake or a bit of bad luck could easily be a death sentence for an entire family or village if heavy rains destroyed your wheat crop or robots carried off your gold herd you and your loved ones may well have starved to death, misfortune and stupidity on the collective level resulted in mass famines. When severe drought hit ancient Egypt or medieval India, it was not uncommon that 5 or 10% of the population perished, provisions became scarce. Transport was too slow and expensive to import. Food and governments were far too weak to save the day. Open any history book and you are likely to come across horrific accounts of famished population driven mad by hunger. In April 1694, a French official in the town of Bivaux described that impact of famine and soaring food prices saying that its entire district was now filled with an infinite number of poor souls weak from hunger and wretchedness and dying from want because no work or occupation they lack the money to buy bread seeking to prolong their lives a little and somewhat to appease their hunger, these poor folk eat such unclean things as cats and flesh of horses flayed and cast onto dung heaps. In other consume the blood that flows when cows and oxen are slaughtered and the offal that cooks throw into the street. Other people riches eat nettles and weeds or roots and herbs which they boil in water similar scenes took place all over France. Bad weather had ruined the harvest throughout the kingdom in the previous two years so that by the spring of 1614, 1694 the granaries were completely empty. The rich sauce Retained prices for whatever food they managed to hoard, and the poor died in droves. About 2.8 million friends per cent of population starved to death between 1692 and 1694. While the Sun King Louis XIV was dealing with his mistress in Versailles, the following year, 1695. Family struck Estonia, killing a fifth of the population. In 1696, it was the throne of Finland, where a quarter to a third of people died. Scotland suffered from severe famine between 1695 and 1698, some districts losing up to 20% of the inhabitants. Most readers probably know how it feels when you miss lunch. When you fast on some religious holiday or when you live for a few days on vegetable sex as part of a new wonder diet, but does it feel when you haven't eaten for 
on end and you have no clue where to get the next morsel of food most people today have never experienced this excruciating torment our ancestors alas knew it only too well when they cried to god deliver us from famine this is what they had in mind